Documents from an investor lawsuit have revealed that Google paid nearly $125 million to two former executives accused of sexual harassment at the company. Former senior vice president Amit Singhal was paid nearly $35 million following his exit from the company. And Android creator Andy Rubin was paid $90 million, along with a $150 million stock grant. That's despite a Google investigation which proved harassment allegations against the two men were credible. Louise Rennie is a law lawyer representing shareholders in that suit, and she joins us now from San Francisco. Thank you so much for being with us, Louise. Thank you very much. So explain why these shareholders felt compelled to file this lawsuit. <clears throat> Well, we filed this lawsuit because, first of all, the conduct is just so egregious. And also, the impact on women, not only presently, but for the foreseeable future, is really quite dramatic. Because what Google has done is rewarded executives for sexual harassment and made it seem like it's okay to do. And it isn't. And we think that is just wrong. Moreover, Google has been less than transparent about all of this. Again, having an impact on a culture, if you will, that leads to adverse impacts for women, for sure. And that's putting it mildly. So what is the most upsetting to your clients? Is it about the money or is it general dissatisfaction with the way Google handled these cases of sexual harassment? Well, it's both, really, because if you're going to pay an executive $90 million when he leaves, when an, an investigation has shown that allegations of sexual misconduct are more than credible, then what are you telegraphing? You're telegraphing it's, it's okay if you go ahead and harass women and more, mm. we believe, and it's okay. What are you telling the women? And particularly when there are instances, we believe, where the men were not terminated, but the women were asked to leave. Hmm. There's a real double standard that we're trying to get at. So how is the board of Alphabet, which is the conglomerate uh, that was restructured um, and is the parent company of Google? Yes, the lawsuit is against Alphabet. The lawsuit is against the executives and the directors who not only condoned this conduct, but really were very silent about it and, and in fact, tried to cover it up. When it, then it became clear, as you will recall, there was a massive walkout of Google employees all across the world, literally, saying, hey, we don't want this to be the kind of conduct that is condoned and or covered up at Google. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to see a, you know, multi-million dollar um, a severance package yeah. or a payoff it's to see it any, as anything other than a reward for bad behavior. Um, and you would think that some of these contracts with these executives would include, you know, things that have to do with behavior or breaking the law that would somehow be detrimental to them getting a package like this. Ultimately, what are shareholders hoping w will come out of this lawsuit? Well, what we are hoping is that number one, Google will completely change the way it is operating. And in fact, any other corporations like this, you cannot reward bad behavior. And you know, <clears throat> this wasn't $10. This was $90 million to one executive, over $30 million to another executive, $8 million to another executive. So the first thing that we hope is to make it clear that this conduct is not acceptable. Secondly, the board of directors of corporations, as well as the executives, have what is known as a fiduciary duty. And that duty means not only do you not condone such conduct, but you take action to stop it, and you clearly do not reward the bad conduct with millions of dollars.
So, Louise, we're showing a, a graphic here to our viewers of uh, the individuals uh, accused and the payouts or the money, the exit packages that they were awarded by Google uh, Alphabet. Um, I wonder, though, um, how do the, I can I can see how those would show up on a 10K, but I wonder for those individuals who accuse these men of sexual harassment, I've got to think that there was some kind of payout to them. And how does that appear on any kind of shareholder document? Well, there, there, we don't. Well, we believe that there will be evidence that will be shown that some women were paid, in effect, to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. We don't know as the evidence comes out, but clearly, we believe the evidence that we have so far indicates a double standard. Now, double standard not only between men and women but double standard between executives on the one hand and low-level employees on the other hand. Low employees who were found to have been involved in sexual misconduct were asked to leave. They didn't get big payouts. So Google could say, hey, you know, we're, we're adhering to our code of conduct that we have. But the executives were another story. Really interesting. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, if there are payouts to the victims, I would say it's probably not close to $90 million no, or anything probably close not. to that. And, but yet the shareholders should know about that yeah. uh, because uh, it's material information that they would need to know about the mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. that they've invested in. Um, Louise Rennie, thank you so much for spending some time with us and breaking this down. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.